<laughs> Why are you laughing? We're supposed to start the video. Uh -oh. What time uh, is it? Like four something. No, I'm not. I'm tripping. What time is that, say, guys? It's five. five. It's five in the morning, guys, and me and Carla are at the airport, as you guys can see. And we're going somewhere. I have hella stickers on my face. Anyways, um, we're actually gonna go back to my hometown. Kinda, your home state. Home state. Fun fact. I said if I wanted to go to college, I would go to Temple. And I like was dead ass. I was like, I'm like, you know what? If I have to go to college, I'm gonna just have to go to Temple. Cause I'm like, why, why else would I go anywhere else? Westchester, that was my second choice. My best friend Amber went to Temple University. Shout out to Temple. So shout out to everybody who goes to Temple. But anyways guys, we're at the airport. Our flight it boards in like 45 minutes. And we got some. Dunkin. It's not sponsored, but we got some Dunkin Donuts. Hey, Dunkin. Sponsors. You're talking about these? <laughs> what are those? We got some hash browns that are a little bit crispy. A little charred. I'm really excited for this. I got bagel bites, but I thought I thought there were gonna be like everything bagel ones, but I got plain and I forgot. I should have just said sourdough breakfast sandwiches, so sourdough. Okay. Okay. And that's it. And I got a coffee. We got vanilla iced coffee with oat milk. I really wanted a pumpkin chai latte, but they said they ran out of pumpkin chai latte. Apparently these bagel bites are really good, guys. Carla's over here like, mm, oh okay. my god, it's so good. No, I wanted to feed you. Did you get some of the cream cheese? Tell me it's not buzzing. I know y'all see that smoke coming off. Mm. I love bagels, this is really good. Wow. I will get this. I'm gonna use soon. We're matching with the Birkenstocks. I want to put her on Birkenstocks. I put her on Birkenstocks. We're in the airport going crazy. Let's go. We're about to board, guys. I'm excited. You want to show me your outfit? <laughs> like, I didn't know you were chill like that, bro. I have clouds, I have stars, and I have hearts. They look cute though. So I'm back in my hometown. It looks cool so far. I'm trying to get a Philly cheesesteak. Doesn't that like a tourist? I don't know what that is. Gas station. That the gas station with the food? No. That's um. Damn, I forgot the name. It starts with an S. Sheets. Yes. How do you remember? I don't. Because I remember everything. Yeah, sheets. Sheets is fire. I don't know. I don't know if it's still fire, but it was fire. I can take a shower. Ooh. What's it called? I was ding dong ditching you. All right, guys. So welcome to my crib. The show crib. It's my crib. The show right, crib. For the weekend. For the weekend. What's up? What's your name? What's your name? KJ. That's what they call me out here. KJ. Yeah. You KJ out on the East Coast. Yeah. You East Coast now. There's a bathroom. Cute mm -hmm. little bathroom. A little sink area. We got the Shein thing right here. Nice little shower. You know. And then you just got your regular toilet situation. Okay, this is cute. It's cute. Okay, you come out here. We got a little closet situation. Oh. You love saying everything's a situation. It's not everything's a situation. It is a situation. Anyways, big mirror so you can see your outfit. You're like, ah. Oh. You know, I appreciate this because most hotels don't have. Like, we need this in our house. Like this. We got a little mini bar. Let's see if they have anything. Ooh, check the fridge. Hey, I'm going, I'm going off. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Please. There's two separate beds. This, which one is which? This one's yours. Look, it says... KB. It says KB. They love me too. Yeah. And I got a little baggie. You, you can show them. Oh, you're tonight. Okay, that's what you want. No! No cuddles for you. Stop. But look how tight this bed is. <laughs> I'm being serious. 
cute. My robe and my pajamas. I didn't even notice this, but they have a satin little pillowcase. When we were walking into the room, the couple was coming down back to the aisle, but someone literally just got married. They're over there. Do you see her? She looks stunning. Yeah, they just oh, got married. Oh, her dress is kind. Yeah, her dress is cute. I really like her dress. I like this cute vibe, okay? I like I like this vibe right here that they got going on. That means we're gonna get married soon. Back to the what's in my bag. I think this is just a blanket or a towel. I have no idea. And then we got a little fan. You know, it does get hot. Right now, it's, it actually feels That's good out too here. Bad. Hand sanitizer. Then we got welcome. Carla and Cayman, hope you enjoyed your VIP first class flight. Take some time to settle into your rooms. Check out our clothing choices and breathe. We have added some more Shein goodies for you to enjoy, including personalized satin pajamas to have the ultimate night sleep. We're looking forward to having you at our welcome dinner at the Love this evening. Please be ready by 7.45 sharp and one of the event teams will come and collect you. Best, the Shein team. And look at these lovely flowers. How cute. And we got some champagne. You want some champagne? That's Billy, great. Billy, Billy, I need a cheesesteak, but we just got here. We're a little bit tired. We're gonna get freshened up. And then they have, we have a spa thing playing. I don't know if it's just for you or me or No, it's for both of us. Cheers. All right, guys, so we just got the best massage in the world. It actually was fire. Not good. We got some wine. Here we go. Mind you, he's not wine drinker at all. Kim and Malik, I swear. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting ready to go to dinner. I'm getting ready as fast as I can because I'm running late per usual. I don't think there's a time where Carla is ever on time. It's it's very rare. It's very very rare. We're going to dinner right now. Carla, are you are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. I have my glasses. on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carla. Oh no, it's okay, but I'm not going to you're, You're right. It's You're the first time driving. I'm not driving ever. There you go. Okay, ready? Chug, 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 chug. Who's faster? Who's faster? Oh, 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 KB. He won. I was confused. This is excellent. <laughs> So we just made it back to our hotel after a long day of just walking and all this stuff. And guess what? We went backstage and everything, and everything's dandy. And then we went to our little VIP section. And guess what happens? Kodak Black decided just not to show up. We were waiting at the fucking place or like the VIP section for literally like an hour and a half, just sitting, waiting like ducks and shit. And yeah, then everybody was pissed. Yeah, basically, guys, today we went to Made in America, which is a festival. But and tomorrow will be more positive. Tomorrow they have Bad Bunny. Tomorrow. Ah. You excited? Yes. Bad Bunny would never do that to us. Yeah, Bad Bunny would never do that to us. He would never. He lost his hand way too much. Right now, guys, we're about to go eat in the hotel. This hotel is actually really nice. By the time he posts, we'll be gone. So we're staying at a hotel called The Logan. Yeah, The Logan. It's cute. It's giving the vibes. Let's go, girl. What am I doing? We're getting food. Oh, okay. The famous event. Oh my god, can I get a picture? Please? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, stop because somebody might hate. Okay. They'll hate on you. <laughs> yeah, cool. Be like, Battery. wait, you so they actually invited you somewhere? <gasps> they I feel oh my so god. honored. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you guys want to come with us? Yeah. Um
we're at this uh. place called Chirago, Ben? Is, wait, is this that what it's called? It's called, called Devon. Oh. No, it's called Devon Seafood Girl. Oh, Devon, okay. Devon? I said Devon, but it might be Devon. Devon. <laughs> Whatever it is, Devon, Devon. We're just gonna have some lunch. I'm tired as f because we were up till 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, I was up. You went to sleep. I couldn't sleep. You didn't tell me that. Like the alcohol in me was like not letting me go to sleep. Basically guys, Carla can't hang, she can't drink, she can't stay up with the group. So we're all like, let's go to the club and I really wanted to go to the club. I'm lying. I did not want to go to the club. <laughs> we got some crab cakes and... Lobster bisque soup and I have some calamari right here. It's a calamari. Ooh. This right here is Carla's cousin. This is my cousin. Her last name is Hara, my last name is Haras. My grandpa was Hara, but he changed it when he moved to the US to Haras. Mm. So we have, we have connecting, someone... we, we have connecting family members somehow. When... When... He's my cousin. Who would have thought? Yeah. I've never met I've never met anyone with the same last name ever. It's a very good I've never heard anybody say the last name Carla. I'm yeah. a little annoyed with the way she pronounced it. So I'm Carla Jara. I'm like, who? Well, yeah, she does the like, Jara. She does the white wife version. Yeah. I say Haras every time. I, I, yeah. I, I need to say her name how the way it's supposed how to be said. Does too. Like, how does an American person say it? Like, if they just saw my name on a the board, they'd be like, Jaras. 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 Which is fine. Yeah. I don't mind if they say it. But I don't, I'm not going to go around and be like, my name is Har Alex Jaras. My whole life, I always said, oh yeah, Carla Jara. Like, not Carla Jara. Or Carla. She doesn't appreciate her culture. Yeah. Yeah, because like, they have to be like, Jara. <laughs> Yours is Ya. Ya. So it's easier. Oh, oh, it's the same as it's, it's the same. Yeah, basically the same. <laughs> it's the same thing. Mine has an S. Something else. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. That was that was my mom's that's fault the story, for not though. correcting me. We got some surf and turf. Ooh. What do you got? I got the half chicken with uh -huh. asparagus and potatoes. Are you even hungry anymore? Really no. <laughs> do I do jumping jacks on a D? What? Get off my phone. Made in America, are you happy? Yes, I'm excited. I'm a little tired, but guess what? I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna she, She's a trooper, but guys, this is it right here. It's like a bunch of little vendors and stuff. And yeah, we're excited to see Bad Bunny. I'm excited for Bad Bunny, and we're gonna see Don Tolliver. That's the two people that we're like mainly excited to see. So hopefully we get to see somebody, because yesterday we didn't see anyone. Hey, how are you? Yes, we're literally That's the only reason why we're here. I, the only reason I better why see you up there. Oh, you're gonna see me on his shoulders like that. <laughs> the only way we're getting up is we knock everybody out on the way. Everybody move. <laughs> hey. We're gonna see Bad Bunny tonight. We're gonna see Bad Bunny tonight. We're going to see Bad Bunny tonight. Everyone's so excited. Everyone's excited. I'm more excited. OGK. Oh, jeez. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her to to listen to Snow Allegra. Oh yeah. Oh, they want me to go see Snow. You know Snow Allegra? We're gonna. Carla's about to be Snow Allegra fan. Yeah. So. She's gonna be my new vibe. Yeah. Her shower vibe. <laughs> my bad. Businesswoman. I'm trying to keep up and like not like like sit down and fall asleep. Wait, I ordered a few of the cheese. Y'all want to? Yeah. 
Are you supposed to put something on top of it or? It was supposed to be yeah, cheese, yeah, but I don't know. No, the cheese is on the side. Oh, there's, there's, there's cheese on it. Yeah, is there? <laughs> so I'm ready to get the f out of here. We had fun. I just got out of the shower. But thank you guys for watching another video. Philadelphia, yeah. We didn't really get a good Philly cheesesteak though. Like not a great one. Our flight is at 6.30. We have to leave the hotel at 2. So we'll have like a couple hours. Maybe we'll go through something. I don't know. Yeah, guys, I'm tapped out. I think both of our voices are like a little bit gone. We always say we're gonna enjoy our 20s and we've been enjoying it. We've been turned up. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm a realtor. So my time is more flexible. <laughs> Guess what? What are we about to do? We're about to try a Philly cheesesteak. And I've been here before actually. Now I remember this one. You remember it? Yeah. You want a Coke? I did. <laughs> so today we are trying Philly cheesesteaks in Philadelphia. You know, Carla's from York. I keep saying she's from Pennsylvania. She's not even repping her state. Yes, I am. Let's just take out the food. Like, like I said, we're gonna start making more food videos. And today we, we've been dying to get a good cheesesteak, and today's that day. Obviously, we went to Gino Steaks. Um, I'm sure there's probably like maybe a better place somewhere. Like the locals probably know, but like this is the touristy spot. And we're gonna come here, so we're gonna see if it's good. So we're actually gonna try both different types of cheesesteaks. One's with provolone, and one was with with cheese. We got two. We got two fries, and then we got two, two orders. orders. So let's try this one. I don't know what it is. So one has cheese whips and one time has provolone cheese. So have you Ooh. ever been here before? A long time ago, like hella long ago. Okay, this one looks like it's the one with the cheese whips. Is it like super yellow? Yeah. Ooh, it's kind of big. It's big. How is it? It's juicy. This one is definitely way more juicy than the one we had yesterday. Yeah. And it's just like bigger, and the cheese, you can actually taste the cheese, which I love cheese, so this is very important. Out of a 10, what would you rate it? 8.5. Last time I was here, I was in like third grade. I had Philly cheesesteak, and I fell in love with them ever since. Ooh, ooh. How is it? What do you rate it? I'm letting my. My tongue and my palate get all the flavors right now. I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10. 8. I said 8.5 too. I feel like it needs like... More cheese. Me personally, I like ketchup. I don't know why. I saw like my aunt put ketchup on hers and I was like... I tried it, it was so good. So let's see. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry this is wrong, but I don't even... Yeah, much better. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what the temperature is here, but it's so hot. Like it's humid, mm -hmm. so you low key start sweating when you eat stuff. Fraj, 10 out of 10. This one has like uh, provolone on it. This one's a lot less messy. <laughs> oh, that's provolone. Yeah, it's definitely provolone. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. How's this one? 
I'm not gonna lie. It's a little dry compared to the other one. I think you need like the cheese on it. It's still good though, you wanna try it? Yeah. So I like my favorite cheesesteaks with mayo and ketchup. Um, that's just like how I always like them. I know it looks kind of weird, but. Mm -hmm. It tastes like way better. It gives it more flavor. But we're gonna try it with mayo and ketchup. Wow. Much better. Hard way, bro.